know, Leighton, we've seen lots of stories on flooding lately. We even had a flooding story in last week's show, but this current round is in regards to farmers who live and work along the Mississippi River. Yes, and I understand you have some information that uh, could tell us if rising waters may impact farmers anywhere in our area and if there may be long-term impacts. That's right, that's gonna be our first story today. Many of us have seen pictures of the recent flooding. Others have seen the rising waters firsthand. When a natural disaster strikes close to home, one of the first questions is how will this impact me, my family, and my community? Well, we spoke with a crop researcher who has been tracking the flood's path to get his take. These pictures from 2011 serve as a reminder of just how bad it could be for Mississippi farmers. Flooding is being experienced across much of the Mississippi River, with the state of Mississippi feeling some of the effects. Mississippi State University's Dr. Eric Larson specializes in corn, sorghum, and small grains. He's talked with farmers within the floodplain, and some already have crops underwater. Probably the biggest implications in Mississippi is if um, the Yazoo River area, see it flows in the Mississippi River and there's flood control structures on the Yazoo River. If the Mississippi River gets up high enough, then they close those flood control structures in, at the, in the lower Yazoo, which backs up water into, in the cropland area in the South Delta, and that's probably our biggest threat of flood covering a lot of crop acreage in Mississippi. That means a loss of time and money for farmers. Larson says major flooding could prove catastrophic with water in fields for weeks. That would wipe out crops already in the ground. Most all our major row crops are already planted. In the case of corn, we're nearly halfway through the growing season. We've already applied all of our, obviously our, our seed has been planted. We've applied fertilizers, herbicides, and, and just about everything that we need to grow the crop. For any crops that are killed, farmers would likely have to replant a different crop to make up for the shortened growing season. That can bring with it a host of other problems. Most of the crops that would be replanted would be soybeans. And any time you plant a crop later, the um, productivity is going to be considerably lower. It's going to be maturing during the hotter, droughtier part of the summer. Um, you're more likely to have severe pest um, issues either from insect pest or even potentially disease from, from late planting. So there's a lot more risk associated with growing a crop that's planted particularly late. Larson says the farmer is then put in a difficult situation to decide how or if the growing season can be salvaged. I'm Troy Moling reporting. As of this taping, flood warnings and advisories continue to extend across much of the Mississippi River.